everyone has a question from cube and cube roots and this is very simple question the question is is 400 perfect cube so we have to check if 400 is a perfect cube or not so there are many ways of doing it many methods are there to do it I want to follow a simple method that is prime factorization method so let's do a prime factorization and then later we're gonna check if it's a perfect cube or not okay so here I'm gonna take a 400 now 400 is an even number I'm gonna start with the 2 remember it's a prime factorization prime means we have to take only a prime number so you should not take any other number uh, the number which are prime we have to take them and factorize it so I'm gonna start with 2 2 is a prime number and I'm taking 2 because 400 is an even number so it goes in 2 table so 4 we have so 2 2's are 4 and the zeros are left so write down them here again we got 200 again goes in two table so two I'll gonna take and then one two ones are two and then zero and then zero hundred we got hundred is an even number it still goes in two table so two fives are ten okay this ten and then zero is left write down the zero next we have here is fifty it's even number it goes in two table so two twos are four we have five right so two twos are four means five minus four one is left so I'm going to write down 1 here that makes the number 10 and then 2 5s are 10. See this is how I do it. If you have any other way of doing a prime factorization you can go for it. Then next we have 25. 25 doesn't go in 2, num two table it's an odd number. So it goes in 5 table. It doesn't go in 3 4. Next prime number is 5. So I'm going to take 5. 5 5s are 25 and then 5 1s are now let us write down what we got so we got 400 is equal to how many twos we got 1 2 3 4 so 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 how many fives we got 2 fives we got into 5 into 5 now to check that given number is perfect cube or not the factors should be form a set of 3 means if I take the 2 here so I'm going to take a 3, 2, this 3, 2. This is forming a 1 set, okay, set of 3. Set of 3 means 3 numbers should be there. So, or 3 factors should be there. So this is forming 1 set. And here you can see, this. there is only one single 2 left. It is not forming um, uh, the set of 3 factors. That is, 2 into 2 into 2 is not there. And here, f for this 5 also, we got only 2 factors of 5. 5 into 5 if there was one more 5 it, it could have formed another set but it's not there you can see only one set we got this means this is not a perfect cube because we don't have a set for this 2 and for this this one 5 into 5 if it was a perfect cube it will gonna have a set of 3 factor for example in case of 27 you take it will be like 3 into 3 into 3 you can see we got perfect set right there's a set of three that is set of three factors three into three into three like that so 27 is a perfect cube if the number is not perfect cube it will not gonna have a set of three factors not the number three I'm talking about the value three okay don't get confused here so we can say that 400 is not so therefore 400 is not a perfect cube so this is how you can check the other numbers if they are perfect cube or not not only 400 any other number if they are forming a set of three all the factors should be there it's not like any one single factor is left out then it is not forming a perfect cube so i hope this question is clear in case you have any other question from this chapter or any other chapter you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching